Hi and welcome back to getting started with processing. In this video we're going to try to move the ellipse from the left to the right of our screen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, the ellipse start at 100, 100 in X and Y and I'm going to make it a bit smaller, maybe 50, 50. So it is a circle. Let me show you what this looks like. So this is our ellipse and it starts at 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down, as denoted by the 100, 100. Remember our window is 640 pixels wide and 480 pixels tall. So now how do we move this ellipse? We want to increase the X position, which is from left to right, by one. And we want to do this many times until the ellipse disappears from the screen. The way we're going to do this is we're going to create a variable that's going to store the position of our ellipse. This variable, which is of type integer, is going to store the value 100. Let me explain this a bit further. Here, we're creating a variable, which is essentially just a box, and we're calling this box x. We're storing in x the value 100. X, however, can only store whole numbers. This is 1, 2, 3, minus 5, 100, and so on. No numbers with a decimal point. The fact that it can only store whole numbers is denoted by the keyword int. Int stands for integer, which is a whole number. So here we're creating a box of type int, we call it x, and we give it the value 100. This is going to be the x position for our ellipse, and therefore we can substitute the 100 by x. So x now is a reference to the value 100. Remember me saying that this draw block or method runs over and over again. What we can do is we can say that x is going to increase by 1 every time this loop or this method runs. So x now equals x plus 1. So of course, if you are mathematicians, you will say, well, obviously x cannot possibly equal x plus 1. And indeed it doesn't. What we're doing here is we're getting the value of x plus 1, which is 101, and we're assigning it to x. So one equal sign is assignment in processing. Let's see why this works and why it doesn't work at the same time. So here we see our ellipse indeed moving from one side to another. However, it leaves behind some sort of trail. What we have done here is we have drawn our ellipse at 100, 100. Then we have increased x to 101. And then we've gone back to the top and we've drawn our ellipse at 101, 100. And then we have increased x to 102. Then we have come back and drawn our ellipse at 102, 100, and so on and so on and so on. So we have just drawn our ellipse many times on the screen. And that's exactly what a program shows. Just many ellipses drawn on the screen and never erased. So if we want to erase the ellipses, what can we do? The solution to this problem is simply to redraw the background on top of the original ellipse. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this gray background and just draw it again and again and again, essentially overwriting each and every ellipse. Oh, sorry, I pressed Command S by accident. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say background, and this is going to draw in our background the color denoted by 155. The color denoted by 0 is black. The color denoted by 255 is white. 155 is somewhere in the middle, a grayish color. And now what we're doing is we're simply drawing the ellipse then drawing the background on top, and then drawing the ellipse one pixel to the right, then drawing the background on top, and so on and so on and so on every time. And this is how we move the ellipse from the left to the right of the screen. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can make it come back, which is a bit more complicated, i.e. bounce from the right side of the screen. Stick with me and let's go into the next one.